Hey guys, it's me again, and I know it's been a while since y'all have seen me on this type of video. I'm still rocking this natural hair thing, probably for another week, and then I'm going to get rid of it. But anyway, I am walking by myself, so I thought I would do a walk and talk video. Yes, me and my husband walked yesterday. We got sort of a late start because we had bought my daughter's god baby some clothes and her mom came by yesterday to pick them up so we spent a little time with her and the baby yesterday because that was actually our first time seeing her so we got a late start and we tried to get to the walk before it got dark because it was getting dark outside and it's a three mile walk so we made it to the last I want to say half a mile and it started getting dark and you couldn't see anything but we finally got there at the end where the lights were and stuff so it was successful but anyway guys I'm holding the camera so if it moves it's because I'm walking I'm gonna be in the warehouse today so I put on some jeans and a t-shirt and of course I'm sorry I thought I kicked something of course the jeans that I put on I forgot to put on a belt so I'm steady pulling up these pants and it's driving me crazy but I keep switching hands because this phone is heavy you ever notice that when you're carrying a phone it gets heavy so it's a good thing I didn't have a camera because it would be even heavier but anyway guys the other day in my last video I was telling you about someone trying to scam me I had been getting these phone calls and I wouldn't answer the phone because I don't answer the phone to anybody that I don't know. So they leave a message saying, this is so-and-so with the IRS. I need you to call me back at this number, which was a different number than what they were calling me from. So I never called. So one day I decided I'm going to answer to see what they have to say. So I answer the phone and the guy immediately tells me, that they have been trying to get in contact with me that they're going to sue me because I owe the IRS which is a lie and I knew it was a lie so I played along with him and I said so what do you owe me he was like is this Carolyn Griffin I said you should know you called me so he says well, we have to verify so then he asked for my name my address and my social security number and I told him I said you called me you're suing me so you have all this information I don't need to give it to you again so he goes on to tell me that they're gonna sue if I don't come up with the money um they're gonna you know sue me so I says well first of all I don't owe you any money, but I'm going to listen to what you have to say. So he goes on to tell me there's like three or four ways that I can pay pay the money. And I asked him, how much is the money? How much do I owe you? He said, well, it's $6,500. So I said, okay, so what are the ways to pay you? And he says, well, I'm going to need you to get in your car, stay on the phone, and drive to Walmart. What for? He says, because I'm going to need you to buy some iTunes cards in these increments. And he was talking about like $50, $30, you know, things like that. And the reason why they do that is because it's untraceable. So I told him, I said, well, first of all, I'm not going to do that. If I owe you money, then you need to send me a letter, as the IRS does. And I will deal with it through the IRS. So... Sorry, switching hands again. So, he goes on to tell me, God, I look bald-headed in this frame, but I promise you guys I'm not bald-headed. It's just, <laughs> I look bald-headed with my hair pulled back. So, he goes on to tell me that if I don't do what he says, that they are going to send the police after me. And at this point, some woman gets on the phone and she starts being real nasty. And I said, hold up. Wrong person. You're not going to get on me on the phone and talk to me like that. So he says, well, 
we'll just send the police out. So I said, okay, you have my address. You know where I live. You have all my information. Send the police out. And I will have my police here waiting on your police. So he got pissed off and he hung up the phone. He hung up the phone and didn't call back. So I tried calling the number back. Of course, the number was disconnected. I think it was like one of the throwaway phones or something. So my point with all this, guys, is if the IRS is calling you, threatening to sue you, they're not going to call your phone. They're not going to send you an email. The IRS always sends you a letter in the mail to let you know that you owe them money and how to contact them to make restitution. So please do not let these people scam you with this IRS talk and threatening to sue you and take you to jail because that's not going to happen. But I did it for amusement because I thought it was funny and I just wanted to hear what they had to say because I knew IRS is going to send me a letter if I owe them anything because whew, I'm out of breath. Let's slow down some. But I had been through it before where the state had um, did a audit on me and my husband and they sent us a letter and told us what all they needed and all that stuff and we sent it in so they always send a letter out they never call you on the phone but that was the end of my little scam and right now I'm at the end of my walk and I'm going to turn around and walk back the other day other Sorry, I am going to turn back and walk the other way. Guys, I am so out of breath. But I am glad that it is cloudy out here because I broke my glasses and my sunglasses. And I don't have to worry about that. But the girl that I usually walk with, she won't be able to walk with me all week. She had a death in the family. So they had to go out of town. So I'm by myself, which is fine because I'm used to walking by myself. And then we go to the gym tonight and it's chest and back day. And I have lowered my weight tremendously because I still, I'm still having problems with my shoulder. It doesn't stop me from doing anything, but I feel it. So I lowered my weight. Tomorrow is Zumba. So I'll be doing that. And then Friday, we're going to a friend's birthday party at club envy saturday i'm gonna do some yard work um and i think i gotta go to home depot or lowe's i'm looking for the little shutters that go on the outside of your house because it's next weekend not this weekend coming up but next weekend i have someone doing some work on my house they're gonna come in and take out some of the rotten frame around my windows and repaint my house a different color so I'm looking forward to that Sunday we go visit his mom so I'll try and vlog sometime throughout this weekend but I just wanted to come and talk to y'all keep myself busy while I was walking and I guess I will talk to you later guys please like share and subscribe and I'll talk to you later bye guys